Hello everyone, this is Brimstone. And I'm still on. And this is still Lava Village in East 2. And... I'm gonna head to go ahead and return to the Ruse Nest because that seems to be the only place I can heal right now. But here's something interesting. You can talk to the Ruse in your human form and they speak I really want to know what that language is, because I think it's a real language. It almost... Oh. what? The, uh, the emoticon that appeared for that guy. What was that? Well, the bubble that appeared over his uh. head was kind of... Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, you get some weird uh, emoticons in there, but... It almost looks like you know, Norse runes. Yeah, it does. So I really want to know if you can translate that. I'm, I'm cur I, I was curious about that when I first saw it, because I didn't realize you could actually talk to him as a human. Yeah, there's a... Uh... And there's a road of fruit. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're sharing it with, uh, you know, there's a tree that grows it, and they all eat it here. Ah. Uh. We'll find out more about the whole Rota with Ruse later on, because I'll be bumping into some monsters. Mm -hmm. And they actually make a big deal about it. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, you were mentioning something before, though. Oh, uh, they use a similar runic language in the Ultima series before it went to hell. Uh, uh, although I'm sure they're not interchangeable. Well, see, I'm, I'm just curious, especially if it may have any ties to, well, the original source material, you would say, to, you know, East, in terms of its, you know, real-life, you know, mythological counterpart. Hmm, not impossible. I don't know, have I ever explained that in this LP so far? I, I'm drawing a blank. I'm not sure either. Eh, I'll probably talk about it in the... I'm going to be doing some Amake on this, so I'll probably explain that in one of those episodes. Good deal. Anyway, enough talk. It's time to burn things and burn bless. And all is now Tiki Torch. Have the little Honolulu hot foot. <laughs> Appropriate, given where I'm at right now. Well, I'm not in Honolulu, but I'm pretty close to it. And you're on the right landmass, at least. Which yeah. Is, uh, more than most can say. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, they would love to be on my landmass right now. Oh, wait, that sounded bad. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the, that's what she said last night. Ching. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> the sickness is starting to have an effect as well as the medication. Yes, that is the ticket. <laughs> what are we talking about again? Who even knows? Yeah, who cares? Let's yeah, we're we're burning things, we're going through and we're having to save Tarth. Uh, Tarf. What's funny is, in a burn soundtrack, if you burn the soundtrack, there's actually titles of the various songs. Oh yeah, and here's... <laughs> His name is Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! And there was kind of one of the references about, oh, and this is Yovi. And, oh yeah, it's apparently we're gonna get killed soon. Yeah. This is Burn Bless and there's some pretty evil monsters. That could happen. I believe that. <laughs> and yeah, apparently the monsters have been craving for Rota fruit and they realized that Roost have them and Yes, and apparently Monster's concerned that, yeah, maybe our hair's on fire and can that, you know, does that mean we're hard to eat? Hmm. 
At least that person's nice. That person is a dick. And apparently they wonder if we taste good. Yeah. Yeah, screw you guys. I'll try to save the one that was actually nice to us. I can't remember which one. I think it's that one. I'll, I'll spare you. Well, maybe not. Okay. It is fair to killing. That's the best guy. Yeah. Kill them all, let God sort it, sort it out. <laughs> or the goddesses, in this case. Uh. And apparently in the green things in this particular game look like giant horn frogs. Which apparently can spit blood out of their eyes. I, I don't know. I can't remember if that was true or not. It's a charming concept either way. Yeah. Well, what was funny is TCU is in the uh, BCS game on New Year's, and that's their that's their team is the horn is the horn frogs. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming the players can't shoot blood out of their eyes. That would be considered an illegal advantage, I'm sure. I think I think that's like a ten yard penalty at least. <laughs> And talking about Stick it to the man. Yeah. Talking about bureaucracy being interesting before in the turbo version, yeah, it's referenced even more in this game. I'm gonna put on the earrings of whispers. Just have that ready. As to know even the demons sometimes hate their jobs. Yeah. And hey, something else we can't harm, it's a lava monster. And here is where I first noticed the nasty trick that the monsters can do now. <laughs> yeah. They can shoot at us now. That'll get your attention. Oh, yeah. So that's definitely a wake-up call. I think I'm in the right spot here. Let's see here. Yoo-hoo. Ah, here we go. Good lord, that's hard to find in this version. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Yeah, I guess I come to rescue you. And apparently Tarf is, Tarf is talking to someone. And apparently Keith wants to bring the Black Pearl. How are we gonna fit a ship in here, seriously? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> or ultimately, how are we gonna fit Darm in here? Yeah, that's true. And that's what got me. When they say Black Pearl, it kind of freaked me out because, well, Black Pearl's a big reference to Darm. And apparently, there's two Black Pearls in this game. This one probably just a bit smaller. Yeah, but it almost looks like the same Black Pearl, which is like, okay. Anyway, we gotta go find said Black Pearl. Oh, where's Johnny Depp when you need him? <sighs> okay, now... Probably the next one, probably. Yeah. And they're gonna run that series in the ground. And I'm trying to avoid death here. Good strategy. Yeah. And that got yeah, the projectiles can hurt. Not as much as they hit you physically. I'm just looking for other swag which isn't here, so let's move on. Ah, things that can actually kill fireballs. By the way, you might remember the magicians in the Turbo version in Solomon Shrine that sometimes you could hit with magic and sometimes you couldn't. Ah, yes. 
Yeah, well, we'll be running into those guys, and they have full protection this time from magic, like the lava monsters. Oh, yeah, for that, I guess. Yeah. Well, at least they took the concept and, you know, progressed it a bit. And, hmm, some herbs here, so let's go ahead and use one, because I am, you know, damaged somewhat. And let's go ahead and grab said herb. As soon as I put this on, just in case. Praise Jaw. More herb. Yeah. And there's a strange statue with the black eye. Kalima. Kalima. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go try the monsters and see what they have to say. They can still shoot at us, find us. Yeah. Moo. Well, Keith did disobeying our commands. Okay. There's a black pearl bur buried at the statue's forehead. Take it. Of course. And we got the black pearl. And there's a lot more lava monsters here, but since we're... That's that, that is... That is a chewy mouthful. Wow. Not even trying to pronounce that. Yeah. So yeah, if you take the... Oh, these are called tops, so I guess they are like Triceratops. Didn't notice that. But you might notice that, yeah, there was a lot more lava monsters than were before. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that if you go back in, they actually... It'll go back to the, you know, normal amount of monsters, so... I don't think I'll be able to talk to those guys when I actually go do my monster talkathon. Say, Livy. I said I didn't know about that till later. Also, there's some dialogue and Solomon Shrine that actually changes due to certain events, too. But luckily, I have that on film, I think. But yeah, there's the Black Pearl. Hmm. And it's kind of fiery. I don't know. And there's a small flame burning deep within the Black Pearl. Well, I guess that explains why it's so potent. Yeah. But those who have played East will remember what the Black Pearl looked like, and that's exactly what it looked like. So it's like, uh, sh I really be having this right now? Should I really <laughs> be giving this to someone? Especially, yeah. you know. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And yes, we got it. Well, we will find out. Oh, Tarf. I remember what I was saying before. Oh. Step away. Oh, what, is the Black Pearl like C4? Oh, apparently so. <laughs> and... Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, Keith just busted a big-ass hole through that. Hmm, he's Keith the Gate Crusher. <laughs> no relation to Dougie the Wall Crusher, I assume, I, I, I guess. Well, maybe, you know, distant cousins, who knows. <laughs> and yes, Toph, which looks like freaking a scary doll from, you know, Satch Bell, seriously. <laughs> Those... Top of the corn. <laughs> God, yeah. That, that's another one, too, yeah. Seriously. It... Tarf has some scary eyes. Yep. And, yeah, Tarf is mentioning some stuff to us and all that. And, yes, we're going to have to escort him. This is the second escort mission in the game, and one that... Uh... A lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of cussing. Luckily, it was not recorded. Well, the pain was recorded, but the cussing was not. And, yeah, as much as I'd love to just leave Tarf here because he's useless, I, uh, yeah. And, no, he has less HP than Fina. Well, he's a small child. I guess it stands to reason. Yeah, so next time... The second bloody escort mission. This is Brimstone. 
And this is on. See you guys later. Till then. Yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <sighs>